Hello, welcome to a priori story timeless. And here is the little frog who is definitely frog colored. <laughs> but he might be just actually a pair of eyes that float around, but it's okay. And a little groundhog. Hey, fellows. Okay. Today, this is a story of Donald and Connell. <laughs> there once was in old Ireland, a very fine lad by the name of Donald. He was not only a very fine lad, but a very gay lad. He would go for miles to a party or a wedding, and he always was welcome. For Donald knew where to wear his smile. He wore it on his face instead of keeping it in his pocket. The dearest wish of Donald's heart, no one knew but himself. His soul was full of music and he longed to have a violin. One night, Donald was going home through a dark forest when a storm came up. He found an old hollow tree and got inside of it to keep dry. Soon he fell asleep. After a while, Donald was awakened by a strange noise. He peeped out and he saw a queer sight. The storm had passed and the moon was shining. Many elves were dancing to strange music played by an old, 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 old elf. Such queer dancing it was, Donald crept out of the tree and drew nearer and nearer. Suddenly he laughed out loud and he said, well, that's the worst dancing I have ever seen. The fairies were astonished and angry. And they all began to talk at the same time. We have a man among us, cried one of them, let us hang him, cried another, cut his head off, cried a third. But the queen stepped out among them and said, leave him. To me. Then she called Donald to her. Now Donald was a wee bit frightened, but he knew where to wear his smile, you remember. So he went up to the queen, smiling and bowing. You say our dancing is the worst you have ever said, seen, she said. Now show us that you can do it better. Donald smiled again and bowed low. Then he began to dance. Such dancing the elves had never seen. They clapped their hands and made him dance again and again. Finally, Donald was exhausted. And after making a low bow to the queen, sat down on the ground. The fairies crowded around him. Give him our silver, said one. Make it gold, cried another. Diamonds, cried a third. But the queen said, leave it to me. She went up to the old, 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 old elf who had been playing for the dance. Taking his violin from him, she gave it to Donald. You see, the queen knew the dearest wish of his heart. Then Donald was a happy lad indeed. He thanked the queen and went home playing on his new violin. There lived it near Donald's home a lad named Connell. He was not such a fine lad as Donald, nor such a gay one. He was a greedy lad, and the dearest wish of his heart was to be rich. And he did not know where to wear his smile. If he had one, he kept it in his pocket. When Connell heard what had happened to Donald, he wished to know all about it. So he went to him and said, Donald, man. How did you get that beautiful violin? Donald told the story backward and forward, and forward and backward from beginning to end until Connell knew it by heart. Then Connell said to himself, I will go to the hollow tree and dance for the elves, but I shall not be so foolish as Donald. I will take their gold and silver and their diamonds too. That night, Connell went to the hollow tree and waited until the elves appeared. Then he crept out and watched them dance. And he said, just as Donald had, 
Well, that's the worst dancing I have ever seen. The fairies were astonished and angry again. And again, they all began to talk at once. Another man among us, cried one, let us hang him. Cut off his head, cried a third. But the queen said, leave it to me. Then she called Connell to her. Now, Connell did not know where to wear a smile, if you remember. He always kept it in his pocket, if he had one at all. So he went up to the queen with a very sour face. The queen said to him, as she had to Donald, you say our dancing is the worst you have ever seen. Now, show us that you can do better. Connell began to dance, and he could dance well. The elves were delighted. They clapped their hands and asked him to dance again. But he said roughly, no, that is enough. Do you expect me to dance all night? The elves were silent then and the queen's face was stern. She then said, you have danced well. Will you have some of our silver? Yes, said Connell without a word of thanks and he filled his coat pockets. Will you have gold, asked the queen. Yes, said Connell greedily as he filled the pockets in his trousers. Will you have some of our diamonds, the queen asked. And her face was dark with anger. Yes, yes, cried Connell. You shall not have them, you greedy lad, cried the queen. You shall have nothing. Just then, a cloud passed over the moon, and the elves vanished. Oh, well, said Connell, I have the gold and silver. He plunged his hands into his pockets and lo, the gold and silver had turned to stones. Then Connell went home, a sadder and wiser lad. Thank you.